Hey guys, what's up? I'm Meadowdogs here, and something occurred to me that I completely forgot about. I am so sorry. Get some reports! I said I was gonna do those, and I never did. So yes, that's report number one. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? Now it's come to affect us so. As ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before this world is lost to those taken by the darkness. Oh, there's a fun drinking game. Take a sip every time you hear the word light or darkness. If you don't die from alcohol poison first, yeah, anyways. It is my duty to expose what this darkness <laughs> really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate darkness from a pure heart. Moses is witness the fire of darkness from within. <laughs> oh, that's sir. The experiments cause test subjects' hearts to collapse, including those of most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are! My treatments reduce no signs of recovery. I can find those who had lost their... I'm sorry, completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Sometime later, I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seem to be born after... Oh, fuck there! What are they? Are they truly cinnamon beings? Would they be the shadow of those who lost their hearts in my experiments? Three may have answers. The shadows that have crawled beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their crew? Oh, for locked in darkness! So they're entirely beyond imagination. All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of that is they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there are no shortage of test samples. They're multiplying underground, even as they write the support. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the Heartless. I am so original. Pay me. Report 4. The Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I have provided them both living and non-living samples. They have responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. Whoa. They are born from those who have lost their hearts, and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the heartless become heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. I have to communicate with them. It just occurred to me that they've been the dark- Oh fuck, dog! <laughs> People's hearts. <laughs> oh fuck, damn. Okay. To study heartless behavior, I picked one out. Ah, picked one out for our observation. It wiggled its antennae, and as if sensing a target, headed deep into the castle. The deepest part of the castle, its antenna began vibrating as if searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I'd never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole. It didn't seem to be locked, so I opened the door. When I saw the other side, it mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great media shower in the sky. Could we relate to the door that I have opened? A massive core of energy lay beyond the door sucked by the Heartless. It may be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon my observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on other hearts. And they yawn for that... Yarn. Yeah, it's clearly yarn for that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart to the heart of this world? There is no proof, but having felt that immense energy, I'm certain that was the world, the heart of the world. Yeah, totally. The heartless are trying to take hearts, not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. What do they mean to do with the heart of the world? World. 7. I am now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find! I 
material is foreign to our world, it is elastic to the touch, and the two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened the door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. Wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? Curiosity never ceases to grow. I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. Number 8. Surprisingly, no mention of darkness for the last few. There is no doubt the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mysteries surrounding the heart. As a start, I have built a device that artificially creates Heartless. Oh, you idiot. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all of my research thus far. The machine's test run successfully created a Heartless. This may be a step towards creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally created Heartless show nearly identical traits. The two types should remain distinct for the purpose of this experiment, so I will mark the ones that are created artificially. Number nine. Simply astonishing! Today I had a guest from another world. He's a king. His vessel is built of the material that can post in the meteors. He called the pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my opening that door has opened a path to world travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade. Whatever the hell that would mean, right? The Keyblade said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its builder saved the world, or another says he brought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this keyblade is. A key opens doors. It must be connected to the door that I have opened. One more left. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said for the stars and the night sky. And deep within each world lies a door to its heart. A heartless desire those hearts. Born out of the darkness of people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. No, screw the darkness thing. It takes several times to eat harder or heartless. That'd be a fun one. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts. As does the devil oh, fight you. <coughs> wow. I'm... I'm all under. Is this the core of the world's hearts? Uh, the world the, of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there, and become all knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade, and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge to the depths of darkness. Isn't that a joyous end? So... Yeah, that was the that's a report. I kind of felt inclined to do that because I said at one point I was going to do it and I never did, so yeah. For other things involving uh, parts, I should, quote unquote, should be having something that you guys will probably want to catch uh, next Saturday, which is uh, March 9th. Why March 9th? Those of you that have been following me for a while probably know the answer to this. But uh, yeah, let's just say there's a reason it's uh, next Saturday. But it is. Uh, I'll update you guys later. See ya.